and welcome to uh, an extra special Snug Radio Retro Lounge. Not only is it episode 40, but we have a special guest joining us. I'm so excited, I just bit my tongue. That's how exciting it is. Um, and we're going to be playing not necessarily a retro game, but it has retro mm, flavours to it. So, uh, without any further ado, I'm going to go over to that little window. And all things being equal, in the window next to me is Nutty Cluster, who prowls the halls of the chat during a normal episode and um, tells you off if you've been naughty. Yeah. Moderator time. extraordinaire, Ooh. Nutty Cluster. Uh, 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 hello. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Hello. I don't know which side you're on. <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay. So, what are we going to be doing tonight then? Well, we're going to be playing some Thimbleweed Park. Assuming everything works okay. Fingers crossed. There we go. So, oh, there it is. It's appeared. Uh, and it's super widescreen, which means uh, because we don't have a new telly in the Retro Lounge, we've only got an old telly, uh, we'll have to make do with what we've got. Um, and obviously the sound's turned down because it was really irritating while we were trying to sort everything out. So, there we go. Um, so this is a point and click adventure that's a little bit like, in fact, it's by the creators of Monkey Island. And it has um, certain flavors of Monkey Island. Uh, it apparently has the humor of Monkey Island. So I thought, who better than a Monkey Island expert to join us on tonight's show? But I couldn't I get one, so Nutty Cluster's <laughs> going to do it instead. I was going to say, I wouldn't say expert, but fan. 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 Fantastic. Okay. I think we'll be playing casual mode, don't you? Oh. Oh, really? Yes. You've, oh. you've seen this show. You know. <laughs> I know. I'm ready to get frustrated. Don't you worry. Well, at least this time I can give you control of the mouse and you don't need to swear at me quietly in the chat room. No, I swear at you loud to your face. <laughs> oh, that also, yes. So I've just clicked through all that because I assume you know how to play it. So. Okay. You're you assume a lot. I, I do. Um, so, this is Point and Click, as is Monkey Island. Did, did, have you played a lot of Point and Click in the past? I have. It's my go-to. Okay. I'm not, I don't have the coordination to do all the jumpy jumpy. Actually, yeah. Okay. But I like a puzzle. Right. Okay. So point and clicks are perfect. I, I, I get irritated by puzzles, so we're going to have a lot of fun oh, tonight. No. <laughs> um, and, and I have a guest, so I can't rage quit. But I won't need to rage quit because I can just pass it on to you. Oh, oh well, make me rage quit. I can, I can, it says here that I can give you control of the oh, mouse okay. and keyboard. So. Uh -oh. I, I don't have a mouse, just saying. I'm sure it'll work the same way. <laughs> so we're in 1987. We are. Is it loud enough for um, everybody? I, I can hear it. What do you think, T? Right, this is the dude we're playing with. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. <laughs> right, click on open and click so. the gate. I think I can manage that. Okay. So there aren't any options. We can't push Willy. Or rub Willy or something. Or Paul. No. 
<laughs> no, no, okay. Yes, pull was the word I was looking for. Um, <laughs> so we can pick any of these, I imagine. Yeah, you can choose, that, choose anyone, which, anyone you want. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? <gasps> uh, I need some whiskey. All right, chat room saying I've got some reverb on me. Ooh. Ooh, not sure what that will be. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Does the game sound alright though, too? Tin can soundy. So I bet it's feeding in from somewhere else. Doom, maybe? Eh? Doom? You're not muted in Zoom, I don't think. Oh, you can't be muted in Zoom because I won't hear you. Correct. So that's what's happening because we're hijacking the sound for. Yeah. Okay, well, one second then. Oh, this is going to be awful. But have you? I've muted my mic in okay. Streamlabs. Does that sound better, T? I mean, springs from salt. <laughs> I'm going to click on another thing while you while you're checking. Tin can yeah, is yeah. gone. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you have any preference to what I click on? No, you can click on it. He's not important. Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my <laughs> life. That Chuck? Any of those. I have to go. Sleep well. You can just click on, on the path for him to walk elsewhere. After I've looked at the note. Obviously, yeah. Okay. So we have to go to the Trestle Trail Bridge. No, you, you're there. We have you... to turn off the light. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, we haven't got anything else in the inventory yet. Okay. That's the light. Oh. There's a rock in the middle there. Can we pick up that rock and chuck it at the light? Where's the rock? Is it that there? I have yeah. to get wet to do that. What? I wonder yeah. how I can turn off the light to let them know. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. <laughs> so, use, use rock, rock on light. Rock. Yeah. a simple switch behind it, he could have used there. that. There! I've completed <laughs> step three of the note. Now... Meet at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you're not followed. Right, are the sewers this direction or this direction? Yeah, no, well, there wasn't anything past really, so I think they're that direction. Sorry, right. <laughs> Um, it looks like um, Springs from Salt has perhaps never played a point and click adventure. Um, no. Um, it, it's it's not really like a choose your own adventure in the fact that you have to do the adventure that is given to you. Yes. But you have to choose the right things to get to where you need to go. Oh no, I've been shot. Oh, yeah, they hit over dead. the head. Oh. Didn't get his Venus schnitzel after all. No. Venus schnitzel. Oh. Look, I'm a dinge. These are, it's Mulder and Scully. Mulder and Scully, yeah. X-Files. So tell me again why you're here. 
I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph so the victim basically and head into town to talk to the local assaults, sheriff. Uh, springs from so what you need to, to think pixelate. of it as is a interactive body cartoon. Starting to what? pixelate. Being the animated person. This is going are. to be a long night. <laughs> All right, right, click on the flashing head. Ooh. At the top there. My oh, outside. wrong head. Okay. <laughs> That must be to use whichever character. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Um, I can see just below the trail sign, there's something that looks like it needs to be picked up. Either look at it or pick it up, what else? It's an empty whiskey bottle. Hmm. Pick it up just in case. We can always chuck it on the floor after. We should really check our body out, shouldn't we? I guess, yeah. That would be the first thing to... Uh, yeah. Appears to, to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. <laughs> Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Okay. Um, Is it worth looking I, again, or should we? Look I at... would. I would change the character and get her to look, just in case she finds something different. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot. More like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, is the notebook waggling so because we need to look at it? I think the notebook was waggling because we he, was write, yeah, he was writing stuff in it. I don't know. Talk to each other, maybe? Haven't we just talked? No. Take a photo of the body, there we go. Oh yeah, good point. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Good <laughs> idea, Agent Ray. He's got a camera on him. Yes. Yeah. I've had That's enough enough chatting. <laughs> That was the only way out of that conversation. Yeah. Um, so we, we use... It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Oh. She doesn't have the film, does she? Oh, yes, she might have. What's that? Yes. Oh, I love carrying stuff. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. There we go. Yeah, so, that means going left, that doesn't way. it? Yeah. Do we need to go right to where he was shot? We can go and have a look. Yeah. Stabbed, Why? poked, whatever he was. We should go find yeah. the sheriff. Yeah, she's telling me not to go this way, isn't she? She is, yeah. But, you know, you're in charge. She's going, don't be a dumbo. Yeah, don't get yourself killed.
seems longer than last time. <laughs> yeah. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. That's disgusting. Better take a deep breath. <laughs> there are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim okay, was obviously knocked that. out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. There's nothing else around there. No, but I Freshly would um, take picture of the drag mark. Evidence in it. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Nope, oh. I, it was a one-shot deal. Okay, well, I'll take it back. I'm glad we picked, we took a picture of the corpse and not <laughs> yeah. Can you else. imagine? Unless she's still got some more. Did it disappear from her inventory? Yes, it did. Okay. I assume they're going to keep up with each other. Look like it, don't I? Oh well, Willie's gone. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's really annoying if we don't follow each other. Oh, there we go. We just learnt this. He's saying I can right click, but I can't. Okay. Oh, maybe I can't on there, I see. Yeah. Is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads the good parts? We oh, are going to have to make them. Okay. What else is about? Well, when I walked left, it, when I pointed left, it said more highway so I'm assuming it's this way okay on the floor by your feet walk back there you go it's the ET game for the 2600 retro <laughs> yay do you want to pick that up <laughs> yeah be worth it on eBay now <laughs> And there's something there by the tree. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. All right, if I pick this up, we can't pick anything else up. Well, maybe. It might just, the boxes might get smaller and you get, might get more. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. I bet she's the murderer. Signals are very strong tonight. <laughs> what signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, <laughs> signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. <laughs> but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Is there a punch you in the face option? Um, <laughs> that's really odd. Should I save my game? This is really <laughs> odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. 
They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Okay. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Eek! Was. Boop! Was. we should get the other one to get them as well. Squeak! Was. No time to talk. So we need to figure out the signals! <laughs> you seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Squeak! Beep! Eek! Eek! Squeak! It's a plumbing van driven by big pigeons? Click, 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 click. Boop! Click, click, click. No need. Click. The perps are outside. Mm. Click, click, click. Was. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Okay. Okay. I've got a murder to solve anyway. Boop. Boop. Click, click, click. Do you Boop. think that the way they're talking sounds like connecting to the internet back in the day? Um, yeah, 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 yeah well. You know, like dial-up connection. It could be Morse code. If it was Morse code, though, it'd be two, it'd be two things, wouldn't it? Whack. Beep! Squeak! Click, 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 click! Squeak! Heek! Squeak! Up dial up. Beep! Eek! Boo! Beep! The cell phone has no reception. Heek! Boop! Click, 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 click! I don't know what we can do to... Click, 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 click! No. Was Whack! Beep! Okay. It's the next place on the list. Shall we go in? Yeah. We need to get the bloke. Oh, pick whatever is up on the floor there, though. Or oh, just at least have a look at it. It's probably uh, pigeon shit now, isn't it? Oh, plastic rings. From a six pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. I'd pick them up just in case. For what? Oh, uh, you know, you don't know. You could tell you've never played Monkey Island properly. You need all sorts of shit, man. Well, yep. as it's by the same people, and she's got a bit of room left. Okay. We should go find the sheriff. We should go find the sheriff. We're not going into the cemetery. We're going to find the sheriff. Okay, she won't have it, will she? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Wait for me. Okay. Mm, Willie's watch repair. <laughs> it says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park. Oh. Call the fully well, automated Hintatron 3000 yeah, at 4468. Interesting. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Okay. Howdy, okay. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't <laughs> remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Damn straight. Damn straight, we're the feds. 
Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. <laughs> Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at eight. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. Murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Um, I got the stairs. Right, head right, isn't it? Oh, there, that way. Oh, there he is, corner. Howdy, who? I'm the Thimbleweed Park coroner. <laughs> Welcome to the future, who? Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, I don't like this like us. <laughs> that because the massive feet. I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Mm -hmm. I'd ask about the Facetron first. Because we've got uh, a picture. Tell us about the Facetron 3000. Yep. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno. <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. <laughs> two. Two, we've only got the one. Okay. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. Okay. On the blood. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in, and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Go on, ask him Aren't if you the sheriff of Reno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, <laughs> the sheriff has that annoying a Reno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, <laughs> whatever. Okay. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Four computers? Yeah. yeah. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. So the computers are made by the factory that went on fire. Isn't yep. there a conflict of interest with Pilotronics and the fire? Whoa now! Pilotronics and its founder Chuck are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a Pillow Factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. 
I this think is this all is very impressive, age, sir. You know? This should cut hours of our investigation. Made for our age. <laughs> yeah. And go see is. the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Is there anything to do with them, okay. though? Um, it says that you can talk to them, so... Yeah? The primary function of the face Tron 3000 trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. Mm -hmm. We well, said two. No, he said he just said he was he needs a photo of the dead body and one to compare it to. The face Tron 3000 trademark requires official government identification that contains a photograph of the victim. There we go. Sure. Whatever. Okay. So we need to find so an official document of a dead person. Yeah, so we need to hotel. go to the hotel. Yeah. We need to go to Sheriff first, then the hotel. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. <laughs> Hello, Agent Ray. A good place to get a drink. Order this already. Hello again, <laughs> Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner yeah, builds in on our state of the art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state of the art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. What else do you know about the Pillow Factory fire 20 years ago? The horrible fire that killed everyone at the factory. After a lengthy investigation and corroborated to Reno by our computers, it was determined the fire was caused by a security guard. Okay. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the restaurant. Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Oh, I want to slide. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Hmm, who is this Chuck? Any of those, who is though? this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. 
We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run to Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Oh, we probably need to use that at some point. Yep. I like the Just fact a bunch that of files. they used the name Chuck. It's kind That's... of a throwback to uh... Monkey Island. Yes. Mm. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. I this need has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Okay. Good. Need that. Good finding. Just a bunch of files. Oh, look at you closing the drawers after you. Well, I don't want people to not be in them. Oh, nobody's going to notice. Arena. <laughs> See if I can walk to it. The inscription says, Pilotronics, the brain of our city. Ah, okay. Do we know who those pictures are up there? Does it say no? Okay. They are irrelevant. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Oh. Oh. One sec. I know, it's irritating, but... Just a bunch no. of files. Be Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Did you talk to it's the turned restaurant? turned off. You what? Did you talk to the restaurant? No. Didn't think, because it needs us to talk to the other three machines first. Okay. It's fine. It's turned off. It's turned off. Okay, oops. I hate this town. I reckon if we can get her to go to the hotel. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. And the other bloke to go to this cemetery. Right. I'd really like to explore A Street. Street's closed until we fix this leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. So, we obviously we need something... Yeah. ...for this. Yeah. Is the wrench there for us to... T oh, it's not there for Oh, they, they're using it. <laughs> All right. So... It's gonna get start getting confusing if we split them up, innit? Well, she said to split them up. Where would you want him to go? Um, cemetery. It's better this way, innit? Yeah. the job mm -hmm. 
Not in life. <laughs> I'm making this long-winded on purpose. Is it a really short game? <laughs> wow. I don't know. Is it just going to bring us all the way back round and out again? Uh, we should come across a new grave, surely. Chuck's grave. I've not seen anything that I've no, no. highlight. Oh, I agree. Oh, I walked to tomb door. There we go. I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. Okay. Flowers left over from a funeral. The heavy wrought iron gate is closed. I see a switch inside. What's the down arrow for next to use? Oh, there we go. We've got loads of space. We can use this stuff as well, by the looks of it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So. So in theory, if she can pick something up that can flick the switch, like a stick or something, we can use it from her inventory with him. Right. Yeah? And we'll just use the the other woman because we could just flick back to him, use whatever we need to do. She needs to be with him to give him stuff. No, because this fingerprint stuff and everything. Oh no, it's from his, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was being sick. He needs to go to the um, hotel because he's the one with the key card. So we need to find a hotel first. Yeah. Oh, there's got to be a quicker way to do this now. At least we know now we only go here if we absolutely need to. Yes. It takes forever. At least they keep the streets clean. So that's a bank. It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. <laughs> Okay. You go down B Street? Doesn't look like it. There you go. Oh, Wait. yeah, come. Oh, blow out puppy sail. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
lady of the evening. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Cut to the chase. Go for it. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Okay. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Pirate. Pirate? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a <laughs> few years back. Oh, God. She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Oh, famous name. So, wow, right, we now... If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Okay. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64, with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore... Posted. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. Oh. You pick it up? Um. No. Hmm. It's my handy ASCII chart. It just says that again. Never know when you'll need to decode binary what messages, do... so I always you practice every at, day. You what? You picked look at, not pick up. Wow, it was on the wall. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, I don't want to pick that up. Okay. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. Okay, that was weird. Feeling my way along. Yes. Feeling my way along. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. 
We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 08 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2 millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. This is very long-winded, isn't it? Yes. I still get lost after all these years. Surely one of these dolls is going to be... Yeah. We're trying to look at the lights to see if the lights, you know, do anything, but they all look the same to me. Have you been through that one? This one? Yeah. Well, I think I have. Oh, excuse me. Have you been through that one? The other one there? Oh, there we go. <laughs> yes, stairs. Jesus. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not going to make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. <laughs> it's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. <laughs> Okay. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Okay, dial in Mojang, shut up, please. So we need to go back, don't we? I think so. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Right, since Ta, Dolores. I'm not entirely sure. You digging? might be Scottish. You know, like groundskeeper really. It started off. I felt it was Scottish, and then I felt a bit this Italian. clock looks vaguely familiar. It went all over. Maybe more it's highly even worse rendered, than an elf and smoother and pendulum action. <laughs> Good to be. I don't think so. <laughs> Oopsie. 
old batteries. Ooh, they look up. pretty old. I think I see mold growing on one. There's nothing inside, except no, there's nothing inside. 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 Why does it let me open them then? There's definitely something inside that one. There's something with a T on it. Glass. Yeah. Somebody out the door. Ha <laughs> ha. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable <laughs> by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay. Back to my vitally important government job. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. Hmm. Not a kettle in there. I'd better not open it. Uncle okay. Chuck would know if I read it, if the envelope is ripped. Yeah, it's a steamer open. Do, do you want to try? Yeah, we don't have to. We can do the modem bit first. Oh, what's that? I wanted a ferret. <laughs> what? This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. We need to find God a computer then, really, now, don't we? Yeah, I'm getting sidetracked by. Uh... Oh, the true secret of Monkey Island. Feeling I, that you could spend a long time looking at all yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go back to computer and come back here later. Okay. I can't believe we've just been rickrolled by a flipping game. It's my state of the art Commodore 64. With dual 1541, I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. <laughs> it's connecting. I can't believe my computer's connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Oh. Thank you. What is your address? Oh. We should have looked at where Thimbleweed Park was, shouldn't we? We should have. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, let's have a look. Oh, we can't go out to this. Mm, shit. Um, Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in? All of the above. Oh, do you reckon? I think that might be a... You think? Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Okay, first question. This is an easy one. Next question. Oh, also an easy one. Questions. Reference counted. Hmm, a little harder. Ah, debugging is on a second monitor. 
Last question. Ouch, this is going to take some thinking. Got it, exclusive ore. Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Yay, I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Thought he might have her uh, like the address of it on. Yeah, we need to pick the. Uh... Hmm. I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. <sighs> it's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron Three Thousand. It's you connected to my it? computer. All the other things you could talk to. You do what? Oh, I see. Yeah. Obviously not. Oh. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. I wonder if basic yeah. was the answer to the question. Well, no, it doesn't matter because we've got the application form. Oh. We might need that. Look it's down. a red gel decoder. Try and use it on the... Uh... That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Did you use the decoder then on the paper? Yes. Okay. Hmm. So... Does it need ink then? It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. With dual 15. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Um. Hmm. I printed my job application, but the page is still blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Back to the I've workshop. Made... Yeah. Knowing Monkey Island people is something stupid, like use the can of poopsie for it. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch my oh, things? But as soon as you've on taken the, over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. On the sideboard, on the right-hand side, there's a pot of ink. There you go. It's a bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink, and it smells awful. Warning, contents highly flammable. It's a defunct robot prototype. Do you remember your way back now? Because I don't. No. Apparently I do. Oh, you do. It is. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Okay. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual... Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. 
I always like to watch this part. <laughs> Put a stamp on it and all. It's my job application in mucus phlegm, all addressed and stamped and ready to mail. Awesome. Do you know what we forgot to do? What? Give him his letter. Didn't you want to read it first? We couldn't open it. Okay. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Oh, I think we need to keep that. Gut instinct says. Okay. She'd say she'd say no if you didn't need it. Do you really want the whip? It's a whip made out of network cables. The label says it's called uh, Cat Five O Nine Tails, <laughs> produced by GetDigital.eu. I guess Uncle Chuck was an impatient system admin back in the day. <laughs> Love it. So, I assume we can go back outside and put that in the mail. Yeah, I think we need to go to the kitchen first. Just to see if we can open the Chuck's letter. Okay. There isn't any way, there's no cattle or anything. It's turned off. Mm. Okay. Back to see George then, isn't it? It is. Digging. Still digging. 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 Digging in the front green. How exciting. I hope I get the job. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. Digging in the front green with my rusty shovel. It's a letter from mucus phlegm. Did I get the job? It's a letter from mucus phlegm. Did I get the job? I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Well, that's how far it keeps the stead tidy. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Just have to open it. Yeah. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the... Okay, but if it's a yes, what will be... Okay, but... Okay, okay. I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first...
Okay. He's not going to take that well, is he? No. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it, if the envelope is ripped. I know. Just thought I'd try again. Oh, before we go in there, can yeah. we use that um, decoder thing on on the letter just to see if it works? Or oh, not on the Mucus film one, on the, uh, yeah. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Okay. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Okay. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... <laughs> here. Read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future, <laughs> you are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real-life okay. murder is the next <laughs> logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. Don't think we want... we're not going to find the hotel in the outskirts, are we? No. We've got to find a way now of getting down that street, A. Eh? Yes. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. <laughs> the Pac Man. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. <laughs> What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this is before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? <laughs> We're the feds. You can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Ransom the Jerk. 
was the featured act at Stupendous Brother's Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Okay, well, there's clown noses in there. Ouch! That's tight! Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. What else was on his to-do list, sir? Get my beeping joke book back. Get my clown looking beeping grapes. Okay. Um, up to the mirror then, I suppose, to, so we can... My hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. <laughs> is he supposed to be like Krusty? Uh, it, looks, it sounds like it, doesn't it? Yes, but he looks a bit like Ronald McDonald. It came <laughs> off the wall. It's my closed safe where I keep all my money. Open it. Just money, yeah. It's my safe. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the f clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. All right. Oh, you need the money then. Yep. It's my lawyer's business card. Okay. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. <laughs> Nothing else in there then, is there? Don't feel like it. No. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen, and your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers <laughs> start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. <laughs> Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. F you! <laughs> hmm. We've been in the trailer. Yeah, let's try the trailer first. Nope. Yeah, that's what I said. We've been in the trailer. Yeah. That's all it is. It's trailer, isn't it? Well, this should be interesting. <laughs> Go yourself. <laughs> ah, f you. Well, f you. <laughs> I think she's irrelevant. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stay. <laughs> it's my special custom made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Sure as wish there were a more permanent variety. 
this goof keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. <laughs> we need to use that then. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. Now there's the face I love. Yeah, does he have to put the hat on as well? Oh no. Oh, we gotta get the joke book. Yeah, so we need to find Carney Joe. Carney Joe? It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. I don't wear hats. <laughs> Okay, what's we'll through that gate thing there? Is it okay, anything? That's the way back to the trailer. trailer. Okay, got it. Where are we going now? I've forgotten. We Carney need to Joe. Find Carney Joe. Carney Joe. We got prizes. You got my money, Clowny? That's Ransom the Clown. Asswipe. Okay, you got my money ransom, the asswipe clown? 1,000 clams or you're not getting your joke book back. It serves you right for playing the duckies. I have yeah. your money, a thousand bucks. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my joke book? Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only a thousand dollars and you owe me eleven hundred and thirty-eight, including the interest. Uh, oh, I knew I it. you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full eleven hundred and thirty-eight bucks. Mm. Now, beggar off. Try your skill. Jackass. Yep. I just take the big bucks. Well, at least that was quicker than uh... the graveyard. Yeah. Oh, pigeon. Win big today. He is too far away. You got my money ransom, the ass white clown. I have your money, a thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up? Yeah, well, not much choice. Now, where's my joke book? Here, the jokes all suck. So, how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah, what do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now, scram, Clowny. You're scaring the customers. Win big today. Okay. One stay then. Win big. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the <laughs> insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. Oh. Oh, yeah, go for inbred freaks. You're all a bunch <laughs> of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The low IQ, the weird speech patterns, the same ugly face. If that ain't just one weirdo, somebody definitely their sister. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatzos. What with all this bottomless 
foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. Hey, you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. <laughs> hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. <laughs> hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. <laughs> You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. What the f***? This... Makeup isn't coming off. <laughs> you old lady, <laughs> you up the you. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little? Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you. Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. <laughs> and that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Where did we go wrong, Dave? I don't know. <laughs> but if we can pull this off, I think we'll be fine again. I love you, Dave. I just want things to go back to how they were. Me too, love muffin. Snuggle cakes. Was that another dead body? Oh no. What? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. Are you supposed to die? Perhaps not dead. Is this stupid to do the same thing again? Let's try. Let's go for it. Oh, this is Buck. That looks like Reyes's notebook. I hope he went back to the home office. It's an empty box. 
pretty disgusting. Mm -hmm. okay. Why is her notebook waggling? We got like a to-do list or something in her notebook. Yes. Do you think we oh. should have been doing all the... <laughs> do, you... do you think we're a bit behind? I don't know if we're behind, but I think we might have used the wrong person to do the stuff. <laughs> Look at his notebook as well, then, and see what we've done. Definitely on... Reyes's notebook. Tempting. But no. Definitely Reyes's oh. notebook. Well, Tempting. Okay. But no. I won't bore myself. <sighs> right then. Do you think this is a good place to save? <laughs> is that an option? I don't know. Oh, auto saves. There we go. That's okay then. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. What was that all about? No idea. Quickie Pal. What? <laughs> Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Um. Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. I'm not <laughs> surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. <laughs> These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and, uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. I'm going to look around your store. Um, I reckon that little bottle of stuff underneath the maps. I'm here helpful. to serve. It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little doodat. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. It looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger, though. What the CCTV? It's not select. No, I'm here I, to I'm serve. Meant camera, sorry. Ah. It's a video camera. It's an, I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday card. That's sweet. Let me know if I can help you with anything. I'd play if it were a sure thing. Mm -hmm. Anything in the fridges? I'm here to serve. Nope. No, okay. Looks like we've got everything we need from there then. 
How can I help you? Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way. That wallet was his. I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. Interesting. So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. I'm going to look around your store. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like straight roads in this, do they? No. That's real. Can't see what any of those things are, though. Mm -hmm. That feels like it's the hotel. Oh, well, it could be. Or the pillar factory. Oh, yeah. That's the pillar factory. Whoa, there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killerino on the loose. You could do with a map, to be honest. It might a be map? A you can Seriously? Jump oh, Basically. yes. And not just any map, but an official map. And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? A lot of chance. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. You have to admit, it's a nice view of Reno up here. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. Like oh. I said before, you can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. You have to admit, it's a nice view of Reno up here. So if the sheriff's taken all the maps, do we think they might be in his office? Oh! I hadn't thought of that, but yeah. Oh, those pigeons gotta turn up again. Hmm. I haven't seen Reyes for a while. Wonder what happened to him. Yes.
I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. An arm extended in friendship or supplication? Huh, hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. Oh, is that, um... The only thing I'd get from poking yeah, around these boxes oh. is a case of sneezes. Perhaps we have to turn that it off. Looks like this valve has been off. welded into position forever. There we go. Can you try and use it? I can't turn it. Okay. The only thing I'd get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. Sneezes? I can't budge it. Hmm. This looks like the sewers, doesn't it? Yeah. It needs a dime to work. I'd say that leads somewhere I don't want to go. <laughs> Did you just pick that speck of dust up? Yeah, I did it with the woman as well. I know, I wondered what it was. They pick up a ball, which makes me wonder why. Yeah. Right, there's no way out of here. That's interesting though, like an emergency call Marina Muller. Um, I know where we can get some um, uh, coins. We can get up to that Leonard shop. The only and... thing I'd get from poking around these boxes. This valve has also been welded into position. It's a dime, but oh, it's now go. pretty slimy. It's sealed shut. That's no way to open it. Yeah. We'll have to use that dime then. Uh, it's three three specks of dust I've just got. <laughs> There's one there as well. They're all going <laughs> in the same place though. They are. I reckon we let them unlock a special, you know, achievement or something. For getting all the dust. For getting all the dust, yeah. So we want M, A, R, M, -M. Oh. There's a dime in the coin return. We have to put all the letters in then. No, it started ringing when I got to R. I know, but... I reckon we have to put them all in. No, it started ringing. Yeah, I still reckon you've got to put the rest in. You... Mm. It's a dime. All operators are having dinner now. Call back tomorrow. Hmm. Do 
Zeus has really fingerprints like... for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Vigatron 3000 compatible. Get an outside line. Well, I tried zero for the operator. Yeah. Is this... Is that a code? Is Marina Muller a code? Or is it that the lady can find the number for Marina Muller? I don't know. Can you walk away from it just to make sure it is Marina Muller? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Maps we're looking for, isn't it? Yeah. Just a just a bunch just a bunch of files. I'm not gonna close them this time. Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. No. <clears throat> <laughs> You're hardcore. <laughs> Try those ones. Hey. Try those ones. Just a, just a, but just a bunch of files. You've guilted me into it now. Hey. You guilted me into it. Sorry. <laughs> All right. There's nothing in it, then, is there? Yeah, Standard oh. city issued desk, but with no drawers. No drawers, okay. Ooh. Looks pretty official. Anything coming out of this can be used to arrest someone. Let's have a look in our notebook, see what we need to do if there's anything in here. Okay. Say, so we're on the fight map. I do worry that mm -hmm. all these ones at the top, yeah, are perhaps back at the main the scene of the crime, as it were. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, so she's on a different mission to the rest. We should have read that in the first place, shouldn't we? We should. And that feels to me like that revelation that we should have spotted earlier on. Yeah. <laughs> feels At to the me start. like a good place to draw this episode to a close. I agree. So... We've got it saved. Um, so we can't just... We can't just play this much and not play it again, can we? No. We need another episode, don't we? If you want me back? I'm certain we want you back. I oh. want you back and I'm in charge. Yay! Um, but... Do we keep doing it until we've completed it? Um, should we ask the audience? Because they're the ones that'll have to watch it. It's very true. Um, okay. Well, I tell you what. Comment under yep. this video on Twitch, wherever you're watching it. Um, leave us a review on YouTube if you watch it on YouTube. And. Um, We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, join um, in the Discord. Oh, we also have a Discord, yeah. Yeah, well done. 
Um, I mean, tradition dictates that I go back to the big screen, but now that I no, have a guest, I can't really do that because she'll disappear that's, also. That's fine. I will bid you adieu and you can go back to your big screen. No, no. No, because what we'll do is we'll just turn it down like this. And we will um, possibly play again. We're everywhere at Snug Radio Online. And um, if you've enjoyed it, tell a friend. <laughs> and um, they can come and visit us at Snug Radio everywhere on the internet and even uh, on our Discord server. As previously, previously mentioned, a note will be down in the comments uh, wherever I post it. So... Um, a big thank you to Nutty Cluster for joining us on this quest to solve the murder. And um, I think we'll be back for definitely at least one. But then we'll see what the audience says about playing it all the way to the end. Yes. And we may have to have sub shows where <laughs> we play it, um, but we don't. Um, it comes in between the, the real shows, perhaps. Okay. Sounds good. So, next next show will be after Christmas, but I have a whole bunch of Christmas games that I need to have played. So, do you fancy coming back next week? Mm. Or before next week, even? Yeah. Possibly in the next couple of days? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Uh, in that case, keep an eye out for our Christmas special part two. And when we do that Christmas special part two, uh, Nutty Cluster's going to remember to remind me to use the wheel so that we can pick the okay. show after that for the first one in January. I will write that down forthwith. Oh, not the first one in January, the one that falls in between Christmas and New Year. We'll discuss right, yeah. it more in a couple of days on our next show. Okay. Uh, so, in that case, that's all there is from me um, I've been Math I've been Math Natty Cluster B whatever you want to call me I yeah know. okay <laughs> Natty Cluster thank you um, this has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge we'll see you in a couple of days thank you and goodbye goodbye